To install the Y-axis motor and the mount, we'll have to start with the, these 3 inch, 3 8 inch screws. We're going to put them through the front of the, the ZY plate. Right now. now we need to use nuts. Okay, now we'll add 3 8 inch nuts. Put another 3 8 inch. And then put the idler sprocket on. And we're going to take this piece. Looks like you. We're going to slide this on just until these are showing. One final nut on. We'll do it until it's flush. Tighten the spacer nuts outwards and then the these nuts tighten them against the plate. These are tight, now we can put the motor on. Okay, we're gonna take the y-axis motor and position it right on the, the motor mount. We'll be using three of these one and a half inch screws. One, and the screw that you're not gonna be using for the motor is where the is where the um, drive sprocket or the idler sprocket. You'll also use a regular nut. Also, you want to make sure that the wire is on the top, not on the bottom or on the side. You can probably put it on the sides, but I personally prefer it on the top, just so it won't get in the way when it's in movement. We'll just tighten up the screws. Now, this will not go anywhere. It's very strong. Now, we're going to omit the, the nut that's holding against the um, idler sprocket because it covers the race. It doesn't allow it to spin, so keeping it free flowing like this is fine. Now, we need to put on the drive sprocket. Now, we're putting on the drive sprocket. The drive sprocket is just going to go over the, the half inch um, shaft motor and you'll notice that there's a flat in the motor you can use that uh, to put the one of the set screws against and try your best to align it with the idler sprocket as you're doing this tighten that up really really tight then find the other set screw and tighten that up okay that's done